Hello and welcome back. Today I'd like to look at a couple different uh, locks here. I want to look at the keyways on these locks uh, and explain how some keyways make locks more secure than others. And uh, I've talked about security pins and how obviously they affect the security of locks and making them a lot more pick resistant. Uh, today, like I said, I want to look at, uh, let's look at this one first. This is a sergeant lock. Uh, it has a very wide open keyway. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's see if it's the focus. Um, let me find a background here. Oh, focus a little bit. Okay. There we go. You can see that that is a gaping uh, keyway there. So. Consequently, that that makes it very easy for someone uh, to stick a pick into, um, which I will demonstrate real quick here. That makes it uh, way more susceptible to picking. Now, the sergeant obviously relies on tolerances of the cylinder being um, a lot e a lot more um, pick resistant. Um, you don't get as, quite as much feedback on a lock, and there it is. <laughs> there. So, that didn't take any time at all. <laughs> so, not the, uh, not the most secure uh, keyway. Um, makes it very susceptible to taking a Bogota. And uh, raking it as well. See, this will take took almost no time to single pin pick that. I'm there. We go. Now, had they put some security pins in this, might have made it a little bit more de uh, more tough of a pick. Now, uh, that being said, they also rely on uh, uh, radical bidding on the keys. Uh, as you can see, there is. Come on, focus. Go back just a little bit, maybe. All right, it does not like my hand as a background. There we go. You can see that there's quite a few highs and lows on that key. Um, and of course, that was the one that I just did. Um, consequently, it did not matter. The lock works perfectly, but uh, did not do a whole lot for that lock. Uh, next one, we'll look at another sergeant. As you can see, it has a, a little bit more of a closed keyway. Uh, it does make it a little bit harder. I really don't know that you can see the pins in there, um, but they are riding right on the edge of that right there, which makes this a lot tougher to pick uh, when they're sitting on that ledge. It means you kind of got to work around that ledge. Now, consequently, doesn't mean that it's uh, any more resistant to picking than the other one. Uh, does kind of change where I put my tension wrench. Uh, on this lock, I put it up top. And we're going to use a different uh, right there. And we just do the same thing I did on that one. Um, in fact, I know that this one's a whole lot harder than the other one, but it definitely does. There you go. It does make it a little bit more complicated to pick. Uh, again, uh, these ones like to use the very high low bidding on the keyway uh, does make it a little bit more of a challenge. Again, the lock works great. Uh, but I'm going to show you one of the, uh, this is kind of a rare lock. Um, this is, I haven't seen too many of these. This is a Chelsler lock, or Chessler, I'm sorry, Chessler lock. Um, hoping that you guys can see. The uh, keyway on that. As you can see, that keyway is 
very, very open at the bottom, but just tiny and restricted at the top. Trying to get to those pins are just, it's, it, it's a chore. <laughs> You're not raking this one open with the boat at all. Um, does it mean that it's not going to be picked? No. I mean, that's just a challenge for me. And uh, because of that crazy keyway, <laughs> I have to go from the bottom. But because I have no pins down here uh, and plenty of room, <laughs> plenty of room to work here, right? In this keyway. Um, so I have to work off of two ledges on this one and use a very thin pick, but nonetheless, still in it so uh now had this one had security pins in it might have been a lot tougher of a pick uh trying to get around that crazy crazy keyway uh so just a kind of an fyi on locks uh and and looking to see what makes them more secure um, i hope this video was helpful uh again Thank you for watching and don't break the law.